Okay guys, what's going on? This is Liam. I'm just out here in Melbourne. Might be heading back to Chiang Mai earlier than expected because my allergies make me want to die in this country. I literally cannot even handle it and I'm trying my best not to take medications. But the point of the video is um, how hard is it going to be to get rid of tinnitus? And we're talking here about pulsatile tinnitus, vertigo and hyperacusis. So I'll tell you what, so in my experience, out of all of those, you might have multiple of those, you might just have one, you might just have vertigo. In my experience, the easiest one to get rid of time and time again is pulsatile tinnitus. That's the heartbeat in your ear. Um, I find people might just do a 24 hour dry fast or people just cut out the stimulants, okay? Most of the time it's people when they do the smart thing and they cut out the non-essential foods that you don't need as a human being. I'm talking of course about carbohydrates, I'm talking of course about fruit, I'm talking of course about um, excess amounts of protein without the fat counterpart. Why is this? Because protein burns like sugar, okay? Sugar, you're talking about carbohydrates and fruit, okay? You've got the waste products, you've got, when they metabolize, you've got lactate, acetate, acetaldehyde, and ethanol, okay? And those waste products, they cause your capillaries and arteries to swell, okay? Causing your heart to have to work harder, okay? They become wider, it needs more pressure, you get less oxygen in the blood you need. You still need the same amount of oxygen, but you've got less of it. So what does your heart do? It compensates, okay? So when you get that bullshit out of your system, it's going to be a lot easier for you. Let's change hands here. It's gonna be a lot easier for you, okay, to get rid of pulsatile tinnitus. Next on the list is vertigo. I find people find that very easy to get rid of. Normally vertigo is a sign that you've got worse hearing in one ear than the other. Uh, you can fix that actually. Uh, muscle release on the neck actually helps a lot for that, I find. Um, as well as just following everything else on my YouTube channel. Remember guys, go through every single one of my videos, make the time and you get the results you want, okay? Also click below this video for free live streaming uh, where you can actually ask me questions. If you comment on the video, I will do my best, um, but not to be rude, if I just see the comment, the question you ask is on another video, I'm just gonna leave it just because I'll answer, you know, I'm more likely to answer the question if you just give it a go first, because when you give it a go, you're gonna get the results and then you're not even going to ask a question in the first place, and then you get rid of tinnitus, and you never have to talk to me again. And then, not that I don't want to talk to you, but, you know, wouldn't you like to not even have to know who I was and just get rid of tinnitus? Uh, next on the list is hyperacusis. Um, same thing, I have a lot of people who do um, fasts and they, they fix their diet and they get lots of sunlight. Hyperacusis is usually um, a problem within the electrons inside the inner ear. Three electrons per mitochondria, two of them are fueled by sunlight, one of them is fueled by nutrition. Uh, if you're not sleeping properly, you're not recycling the cells, okay? You need to be recycling the cells in order to not waste um, nutrition on cells that are already dead and can't even be used. You're just filling up, you know, you're, you're putting food into a fridge that's turned off, and then by tomorrow, the food is useless and it's putrefied and you've got a problem. Autophagy, mitophagy, fasting, sleeping, get on. If you can't fast, fix your sleep, that's not a problem at all. Sleeping is, fasting is, Fasting, guys, is manually sleeping. It's putting your body in a sleeping state, if you ask me. Of course, there's differences. You're not doing REM sleep or NNREM sleep or anything like that. But the healing that takes place is very, very similar um, to what happens when you're asleep, um, except for the work that's done in neural pathways between um, the microtubuli associated proteins, such as tau protein, um, which you need to be sleeping, or you can do cold water therapy. So I'll probably do more, more on that because I just kind of threw that out there, but you know, you guys want to know more. And the hardest to get rid of is unfortunately tinnitus. So if you work really hard, you can get rid of tinnitus, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Now, I want to make sure that you know what I'm saying here. What I'm not saying is that it's impossible and you shouldn't try and, oh my God, I knew it was going to be hard. Can I even do this? Do I have the time? Do I have the resources? Do I have the effort? Do I have the knowledge? Is it even going to work? Why does my doctor say it's not going to work? I'm stressing out. I'm freaking out. Tonight's talk.com is, is hell on earth. I feel worse. You know, maybe I feel good when I watch Liam's videos. Maybe it gives me hope. That's good, but you've got to do something. <laughs> do something. Just do something. Okay? I don't care if it's a sauna or a cold shower or muscle release or meditation or cutting out coffee or cutting out tea. Whatever it is, restrict your plant intake, increase your meat intake, okay? I get even more vegans coming to me now, so you've probably seen I started posting more things about vegans on my Instagram so that they know, oh, Liam knows what he's talking about in terms of tinnitus and veganism. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's not even associative anymore that tinnitus is caused, can be caused by veganism, it is causal, which means that there's solid proof. There isn't solid proof, but in my mind, it's basically the same thing. So as I said, tinnitus is the hardest thing to get rid of. So guys, what do you do from here? 
click below the video, go to my website, limbsopsnitis.com forward slash tinnitus bootcamp and sign up for the free course, okay? Sign up for the free live streaming, okay? Don't know how long I'm gonna go for, but I'm gonna try and my best to answer questions before, during and after the presentation. Watch the whole thing if you can, it's worth your time. Um, you can get rid of tinnitus, don't listen to your ENT. And so let me just go over those again. So vertigo is generally the easiest one to get rid of. Uh, sorry, pulsatile tinnitus is the easiest one to get rid of, then vertigo, I hope I said that in the beginning. So pulsatile tinnitus is the easiest, and then vertigo, and then hyperacusis and then tinnitus, okay? If you have anything else like visual snow, for example, just know that oxalates from plants pull in your eyeball. Oxalic acid binds with calcium and pulls in your eyeball. So cut out the plants, not 100%, still eat them at least once a week, okay? Hope this helps, this is Liam. Click below and don't give up, guys. Don't listen to what other people say on the internet. Don't even listen to the little voice in your head. Tell all those motherfuckers to shut up and give it your best shot, okay? Don't give up till it's gone.